Hi everybody, Marguerite here. Today I want to show you one way that I find projects that I want to work on and how I organize them. For a while I've wanted to start a new series of videos about inspiration, about how I find inspiration to create new projects and what I think are ideas that you might find useful as well. I'm going to call this series I is for inspiration and the first project that I want to show you is one of the ways that I look for and gather new projects that I want to work on and how I organize them. One social media platform that I personally like to use is Instagram. I like to use it because it is mostly photo based and it allows me to follow artists who I admire and whose art I think is very interesting. And as I see images, still pictures mostly, of what they're working on, I'm able to, to save those images and they help me think about what I want to work on next. So I save those photos um, in the Instagram app and then access them on my desktop, on my computer, um, and am able to download them so that I can print out those images and put them in a, in a binder, kind of like a journal. Then I can organize those images and figure out what is relevant what is what is something that i can work on and that i can pot and that i can see myself completing that's also important it's not just starting something or trying something but that i have a realistic expectation of what i can complete so first i'm going to show you what my little collection of photos looks like and how i put it together and then after that i will show you how i uh, get the images off of Instagram and how I order uh, the photos to put in my uh, journal. All right, so here is what I have. I have a box full of random papers. I have a blank notebook, not notebook. It's a place where I can add papers in with ring binder, ring binding. And then I have a stack of photos of artwork done by people that I like, art that I like on Instagram. So what I want to do is put these images in my book, in my notebook. So I went through my papers and I just kind of put things together, filled out, filled up my, my blank notebook. And inside, I'm going to place my images. It's a super simple concept. Um, for my pages, what I did is I, I glued some together and then I reinforced them. Because if you have just a plain paper and you put it in, it's going to tear pretty easily or it's not going to have a whole lot of support strength. So I add a little piece of Tyvek and then it really, um, you know, helps, helps it, you know, not tear in the future when, when turning pages. Tyvek is, it's a fiber made from plastic and I bought this in I don't know, Office Depot, Office Max, something like that. And it's lasted me for years because I use it for small projects like, like this, where I just cut out bits and, um, you know, use it over time. So it will last you quite a long time. Also, the U.S. Post Office is also sends packages sometimes with Tyvek. So if you receive one, you can always save it, put it aside, and then use it for projects like this. So what I want to do is put in my cards and I use double-sided tape. I don't use um, glue stick for this because, you know, it's just, just not going to work properly. So I have my 
my score tape. I like score tape because it's super easy to use. You just, you put it on and tear it off, right? I wrote down the name of the person. This is Lauren B. This I will put down just with glue stick. And I have this because I want to be able to go back and see other things that they have made. So that's the reason why I am putting this down. She did a lot of, or has been doing a lot of amazing art with uh, index cards. And then she puts them on a ring and it's super, super cute. So I, I, um, I'm taking a lesson from that and want to do something similar, right? So now I'll just go through and do the same with all of these. Here's another one I did. Sophie Decor, she does really awesome stuff with fibers and um, fabrics and then sews and paper and mixed media. So, um, She's a lot of inspiration for me as well. The cool thing about rings is that you can, you know, change the order. You can swap card or um, images out. Um, yeah, it's it's very versatile. So that's what I'm going to use with with this. I also use um, old paper pad. I don't have my sample on my desk. You know, if you have just leftover pieces of paper pads you can fold them and use them as pages or as I as I have you know just a lot of random papers use those to to create your pages because you want to use stuff up anyway so the stuff that you don't really uh, particularly want to hold on to I think this was a the backing from the inside of a of something that I purchased so all right so let me show you how I get these images off of Instagram and where I order them on Shutterfly. So here I am on my Instagram on my telephone and this is where you need to save photos first. So you'll see here's the like um, icon, leave comment, share, and over here is the save. This is save. Now, go to Instagram on your computer. Let me pull it up. Here it is. Um, you can you save you you can also save on your laptop um, computer. Here I've got my saved here, but it's it's easy when you're scrolling on your phone, you know, to save uh, images that you like, and then you come to your laptop later and you look through your images and you see which ones that you want to print out. And the way to print out, it can be a little bit tricky depending on what you are using. So I am on a desktop, not a desktop, on a laptop, a MacBook. And for me, MacBooks are Command Shift 4 and then it allows me to take a screen capture of, of the image this way. And then I go over to Shutterfly. And here I have an account and I upload those photos into an album. And then once they are in the album, then I can go and I can order, I can order the photos, right? photo books, prints, this way. Um, and whatever size you want, and I do the four by four. Here it says 23 cents each, but it's kind of a secret, or maybe it's not a secret. If you, if you order from your phone, mobile version, the prints are free. Uh, and all you pay for is the shipping. 
So it's, I mean, 23 cents, it's really, it's not a lot. Um, so either way, it's, it's not really a big deal. So hopefully that's helpful. And hopefully you will make your own um, journal with some images to help you get excited about making art, right? Look at this. Fabulous, fabulous. I know I've got a big pile of of um, photos, so I'm not going to print any more for now. And hopefully I can um, get working on some of the ones that I've that I've taken inspiration from. Thanks for watching. Bye.